Tom, it's 2010 football has begun here at Stock Community Field. Third practice of the season in the Nigel Burton era. Vikings just getting it going. A lot of excitement, a lot of great media coverage, and uh, let's give a little preview of what fans can expect this year. Well, we saw a good spring from the Vikings, and then it seems like a long time, especially for the coaching staff, but with the new offense, the pistol, and the 4-3 defense, big changes. Well, we start with the pistol offense, and uh, a lot of people see that as a running offense. If you've followed Nevada at all in recent years, it's very much a run-oriented offense, but here at Portland State, it won't necessarily be that way. Bruce Barnum has been brought in as the offensive coordinator. He's done great things with the passing game at Cornell and at Idaho State, and they're going to take his passing offense, kind of mash it together with the pistol run game and try to come up with something that's going to look like a 50-50 balance for the Vikings. So I think any coach would take that. Well, I think Viking fans will be happy to see more running, particularly in the red zone and on first down. But with as much emphasis has been put on the pass the last couple of years and with the quarterbacks that can throw it, I think that 50-50 split sounds just about right. That's right. And let's go right to the quarterbacks because there will be a lot of heated competition for playing time this year, no more so than at quarterback. Drew Hubel back from a knee injury. Ty Howland back from a knee injury. Connor Cavanaugh returns. You throw in Nick Green. You throw in Justin Engstrom. And right there, you've got five guys, very talented, have a chance to compete to start, have a chance to compete for playing time. So we'll see what happens in the next few weeks. Five guys that bring different uh, skills to the quarterback position. And I guess it'll be the one that can mix in the pistol, the run and the pass, and what they need out of this offense. Heated competition will be fun for Viking fans to come out and watch scrimmages and practices to see who's getting the edge. And there is a scrimmage coming this Saturday at 10.30 right here at thought if you'd like to come out and see it so we'll let you know about that now let's talk a little bit about the defense uh, Eric Jackson comes in as the new defensive coordinator he's going to take Nigel Burton's 4-3 defense and he's got the man in the middle Ryan Rao the middle linebacker top returning tackler uh, from last season probably the best defensive player on the team he's going to be the center of it all I think Mike Singletary, Dick Budkiss, that kind of guy. You've got a great middle linebacker that Viking fans learned to love last year, and I think he's going to love being the man in the middle that's kind of directing the show. He's going to be in on almost every play, I would bet. I would think so. He's got speed. He's got toughness. And if you look at other Viking returners on defense, Deshaun Shedd, a star at cornerback, Travis Beckley, who's played three years on the defensive line. Those are the veterans. Those are the guys going to kind of lead the way. We'll see who takes those other defensive line spots. We'll see what what else happens in the secondary? David Ross, a transfer from Oregon State, also a cornerback, has a great shot at starting. Uh, the safety position is up for grabs. A lot of heated competition on the defensive side. Ross has looked good through the spring and early in the fall camp. And remember last year, Mike, did they ever throw to Shed's side? The ball went the other way a lot. So Ross is going to be called upon along with the backups. But I like his size there at that position, and he'll be tested early at Arizona State. That's a really quick look at the Vikings this year. We'll let you know. Viking fans know that Nigel Burton will be on 95.5 The Game every Tuesday at 2 p.m. on the Wheels at Work show. That will begin the first game week of the season. You can tune in and listen to Coach Burton review and preview uh, upcoming games. And Tom, tell us a little more about radio this year. Well, you're going to hear a lot more of the Vikings on 95.5 because we're going to be on Freedom 970 for most of the games. A chance we'll be on 95.5 for a game of two, our game or two, all part of the Alpha Communications family. So it's going to be good for the Vikings and good for the promotion. And one of the things I like on my BlackBerry here, Mike, is you can uh, get an app for Freedom 970 for 95.5 for free and listen to all the games like a transistor radio, put in your earpiece, and you can hear the games anywhere in the world. So that's a great addition. Well, Tom, you just heard the horn sound. I think that means we need to get out of here. Practice is getting serious. So Viking fans, the 2010 season is right around the corner. That's a quick preview, and we'll talk to you again down the road. Oh!